time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. And it's time to get this season review started. Season 10 of the Mahabharat. And boy, let me tell you, this it is picking up like like I don't even know what this season. It is picking up. Y'all weren't joking. You were like, once Drapati enters, enters the, the scene, things just go off from there. Some people even said they start at season 8. Like sometimes they watch it just when she enters and they, they start at season 8 and start watching it from there. Which I was like, well, that... I need to get my little base of, of all the of all the people and the characters and, and what's going on so I can't be starting in the middle. But y'all were right, it's starting to pick up. Now last, last we left off, you know, the Pandavas still kind of in hiding. They still pretend to be like the Brahms and, and they got the long hair and the buns on the side and, and nobody's recognizing them. I was like, how do you not recognize them? So much so, cause they're in that city and, and um, Drapati's gonna have her little sway sway on bar where she decides the husband and everything. And they're up in the city, so all the princes are coming, right? All the princes to wanna marry her. I mean, we see we see that mean prince there. You know him, we see him there. And he even runs into Beam and Arjun. I was like, how are you not gonna recognize Beam? Beam is like the biggest, strongest guy. How are you not gonna a little long hair <laughs> i can't believe that i was like and they even come into contact with each other on the street because right beam gets like his his wheels stuck in 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 this big old pothole here comes that mean prince all get out the way get out the way i don't like him and then there's Karn there always with the prince because that's his bff right and Karn, you you see the good heartedness in that so first beam he's about to take he's about to go attack that that mean prince <laughs> he ain't play he has like this this anger in him i mean he tried to kill him twice now poor poor beam so yeah he's gonna have some some anger in in his heart for him so he he's like get out the street so beam hears it and he's like oh i'm gonna get him <laughs> our jude our jude come save the day he's like calm down beam we got this let's get it together and then there's karn I'm like, Karn, why don't you go? Karn, find the way. Find the way, Karn. Get away from the meanness. Because you even tell right then, Karn's like, I'm going to go help him get that out. To hit the wheel out. Karn gets down. He don't care. He gets down. He helps them. He even looks at Arjun, and you feel like a, a bond there. When he doesn't recognize Jar Arjun, but you can just tell the kindness in, in Karn's eyes for him. Just helping a he's just a stranger, not just a bride. He's gonna go there helping him and, and just out of the kindness of a heart. And that's when Arjun kinda looks at him too and he's and he gives him a smile. And right there you're like, Oh, they could be so good friends. Why why can't Karn just see the path to goodness with the Pandavas and get away from the mean ones? I don't understand this, Karn. Karn! I'm pleading to you, Karn. Find your way away from that meanness. Find your right, the bright path with the pain. They're your brothers, Karn. <sighs> Kundi, do something about this. <laughs> Kundi, do something. Why does it break my heart so bad some, sometimes for Karn, though? It does. Like, even when they... So all the princes are the, over there at, at trying to win Draupadi's hand in marriage, right? And, I mean, they see this challenge, and this is... They're not even trying to hide it. They're like... Only two people in the world can win this challenge. <laughs> they already say that. Only two people, like, Krishna's even tell Draupadi. It's like, well, there's two people in the world that can win this, Arjun and Karn. And Karn's sitting right there. The other princes come up. They can't even get the bow off the thing. They're trying to pull and all, and they're getting laughed at. I'm like, they can't even pick up the bow. And then Karn, and, and then that mean prince, he was like, I give up. I ain't even, this is, I ain't even going to try it. And Karn was going to go in his place. He's like, I'm going to do it for you. Because remember, Bishma did kind of the same thing to go win those, those Ambikas and all their hands. And then they, so they're like, we can do the same thing. So Karn was going to go and do it, right? And right away, he picked up that bow. 
He picked up that bow right away. And and right then you're like, oh, Karn can do it. He just gonna win the the hand. But I knew I knew the outcome. Yeah, <laughs> I knew that she's gonna marry the Pandavas. So I was like, what's gonna happen? I didn't I didn't know all the details of what's happening, cause he was gonna go do it, and she knew it. Krishna's over sitting over here telling her he can he can win this for. Her. And that's when she stands up, and I felt bad. I felt bad for Karn. Because she was like, I ain't going to marry no son of a chari charioteer or whatever it's called. And right there, I was like, you could just tell the pain in his heart. That's why Cardin kind of stays with those bad guys. Because, like, he has this pain in his heart, I think, that's that's showing him the wrong path. And I don't blame him because, look, I even have a clip, I think, of this. When he gets upset. And you can just see when she tells him that. Y'all ready to look at this with me? Poor Karn. Let's go. See? You can tell, look at the pain in was upset. Like you can tell that anger. That's cloud in the pain. You can tell that. You can tell, you, you can tell he's in pain. It's anger, but look, it's more than that. How come I'm over here almost in tears for poor Karn? I am. Because you can you can tell. Like he gets angry. He gets angry and all that. But you can tell it's like underneath it's like pain to that that they did that to him. And I was like, Drapati, why'd you do I mean, I know why she did it. Like, she wants to be with Arjun. She does. You could tell from that moment. Like, she's all looking at those paintings of him and stuff. Oh, Drapati's wanting Ar some Arjun. My boyfriend. <laughs> I ain't gonna say that. So, I'm, I know why she does it. But did she have, she have to hurt poor Karn like that? That's what happened. You want to get on, follow those unrighteous, you know, mean old princes and everything? That's where it's gone, Legion. Down no good paths. And of course, as that's happening, who comes and enters the whole arena but all the Pandavas? <laughs> they were the, they were ain't gonna even come. That's fate how it works. Cause of course the Pandavas see that poor old Brahmin. Remember, he he don't have like a leg or something, and they carry him into there to to go and join the the Swayarv. How do you say? Is that how you say it? Swayarv? And they carry him up in there and and. They was going to leave. And that's when Krishna was like, well, if no princes can do that, maybe some of the Brahms. And they and they were leaving and they get called out because Krishna calls them out. He's like, hey, Brahms, who's going to do this? Who's going to do this? To, this is your fate. That made them stop in their tracks. Even Yudi tells Arjun, he's like, Krishna said, if Krishna says it, you know it's meant to be. <laughs> he said, if Krishna says it, you know you were meant to do this. Go go win the competition. He sure didn't he sure didn't say no then. <laughs> Cause you know he wants to he loves some Drapati too. He saw her just walking through that little for every that little I don't even know it wasn't a force, but that little thing where she and she gave him that little glance. Remember she looked back and gave him that little glance? Right then he he liked some Drapati then. So he was like, I'm a all right, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Plus Krishna's telling him that's his fate. And it was, huh? Let's look at that again. I even reacted to Arjun's perfect shot on this. I did. I reacted to it before. But also, reacting to those before you see it, you don't appreciate it. So I'm like, I'm going to have to react to this again during this little, this little review. So this is Arjun's perfect aim for the fisheye. But remember, I remember that it's always like the animal eye. Remember when, though, he was training with the Drona? 
and he had to hit that bird right in the eye. I was like, that's like, that was training for this. Because now it's like a fish he's got to hit. Let's look at it together. Y'all ready? Go. Look at that. I guess this don't have sound. It don't. But look, he's got right there, right there. He got a hit. And he's just looking at the reflection. Boom. Goes right then. And it like curves. These arrows like curve. <laughs> look at that. Hits the fish right in the eye. Right in the eye. That's when they knew. That's when they all look. Oh, I like seeing that shot of Yudi. When he was when he was looking at his at the shot with his brother with pride. This one didn't even have a little sound. That was weird. But but yeah. They nobody recognized the pandavas before. Even though they only just hiding themselves with some clothes and some long hair. But all of a sudden, right when Arjun hits that bird, that fish in the eye, Karna goes, that's Arjun. <laughs> that's what made them, they know. Because they know only two people could win that competition. Karna or Arjun. And right when Arjun won that, he, he was like, that's Arjun. They all knew. They all knew then. And of course, that mean Prince has to get up and start doing his little... His little talks like, oh, this is, this was, get all like the other princes fired up. Remember? Get all them. The other, the, the other brothers done left because, I don't know, I don't remember where they go. They're like, we're going to go meet mother or something. They done left. They left Beam there with Arjun. And then all these princes going to start some stuff. But Beam sure comes. Beam's like, you going to mess? He gets out his thing. Psh, he like, hits the ground. It shatters and all. And I was like, oh, they ain't gonna mess with him now. <laughs> That's why they left Beam there. Beam don't play. Beam don't play. So then they're gonna go back. Arjun done won her hand. She accepted it. They exchanged their little flowers and everything. Put the flowers around the neck. So now they gotta go back and ask for the country's hand in marriage. So there goes Beam and Arjun and Draupadi's going with him. And then they also bring in the old guy. <laughs> I love him. He is not, <laughs> he is like my favorite. I hope he comes back later because he's, he was all there with me there with me like he is proud of the pandavas and he don't even know who they are <laughs> well they finally do tell Drapati, right arjun finally does tell her on her way to go see kunti who he is arjun well she already knew she already knew she already knew all that i was like you ain't telling Drapati ain't nothing she ain't she ain't knew before you know she ain't telling her nothing new but that's just the kind of guy arjun is He's like, I ain't going to start my relationship out on lies. Even though we was in hiding and everything. I got, this is going to be my future wife. We got, I got to be open and honest with her, with everything. I was like, that's, that's how my Arjun is. That's how he is. Ah, oh, my Arjun. Then everything goes bad from there. Everything goes bad from there. Because then they get there and Kunti's doing a little ceremony. And they got to interrupt her and she ain't even looking. And she's just like. They, didn't they call her, look what I won as the alms? And, and she's like, well, share it with your brothers. And I was just like, oh. And then they're in this dilemma because they, I was like, she even took it back. She even said no. She didn't even know. And y'all still going to act. I don't understand why they were so much like, we have to marry you now because you said it, mom. I don't understand. She's like, I didn't know. It was an accident. I took it back. I know it, the point of this is being... You know, you don't just say something and not really think it through or even pay attention. Because she wasn't even paying attention. And we had this, she she should have learned a lesson before. Because remember when there was a kid and they were like, share the punishment. And the, all the kids had to go and do the punishment. They took it literally. They She knows how they are with that. They take it literally. And she's going to go and do that again. And now, it said they have to share a wife. <laughs> They really stick to the word back then, don't they? I mean, that's that's something to be honorable about. I mean, that's a, that is definitely an honorable trait. I just would be like, psych, <laughs> my bad, never mind. <laughs> is that why maybe maybe our world's just kind of from going into shambles from the <laughs> because like now does because people don't stick to the word even when people are given the boons i was like why they don't have to you gave that boon take it back you're like i can't take a boon back 
Because they stick, when they take an oath, like Adari, what a, uh, the blind oath. She's like, I done take it. I can't take it back again. That's my oath. They stick to the word back then. That no matter what, they stick to the word. And that's a honorable trait. But in this case, I was like, just do it. <laughs> like, <laughs> just take it back. And she didn't mean it. Look, she's even telling you to take it back. But then when the great Ved, Ved Vaz tells you it's okay, you know you're going to go with that. He's the one too. He was like the sage that gave the children, right? He he was the one who gave the king now, the blind king and, and Pandu. He was like the sage that brought them. So they they got to listen to him. And when he says, okay, it's okay to marry. And they do give conditions, right? They give conditions. You got a, a year and, and purity and you can't be in the same room together. Like, you know, like if you walk in, I mean, I know that's in the future because our June's going to accidentally walk in. I know about that one. So I know what happens with that. But he gave conditions and, and you know, gave his blessing in this, saying this is righteous. Or, well, the deed is unrighteous, but it, this isn't a bad thing is what he was saying. And boy, do they have to talk some people into that one. <laughs> they, I would be like, can't I just take the sage and bring us with? And you tell them. You tell them because first you got to tell Drapati's Drapad, Drapati's dad to go along with this and then Bishma I mean look at all these people you got to convince the, the, the blind prince and just wait till that prince the mean prince finds out the blind king I meant and then the mean prince we wait till he finds out about this well the first one was to get Drupad you know and they had to have the sage come there and talk to him too and finally they all married her finally they all married her I have a little scene here is this where, where is it at of, of their marriage Y'all ready to check this out with me? Let's look at it. Ready? Go. Look, and they got up. Oh, and she was led the right way. Remember those five stones Krishna gave her? That reminded me with that crown because they had the five stones that he gave her to tell her that was right. Krishna's always given hints. She's so beautiful. But yeah, I almost forgot that because that's how she kind of changed her mind because she remembered Krishna gave her those five stones. And that was like, oh, this is my fate. This is what Krishna was telling me to do. It's got to be something, though. I, this is what I understand, though. Cause at the time, the man, the like the king, what was the one, the the one, the king before this, the um, it was the blind king and Pandu's dad that passed away early, right? But he had a couple wives, so I was like, what? That don't seem very fair. <laughs> it doesn't. Doesn't seem very fair. The men get to, like have multiple wives, but then oh, when like you know, a girl has multiple husbands. Oh no, that's the biggest. Oh, I was like, does that not seem right? It, tr please explain this to me. This is what I want to know. How come it's right for the men, but not the women? What's the difference there? I don't see it. I don't see the difference there. I just don't. I mean, you can get technical, okay, like have multiple wives. so And you can each like, you know, get offspring so they have more chances to have babies and and all that but like when you're looking for it as a moral as a moral reason I just don't see the difference for me I think none of them should you should just be one and one <laughs> that's for me they should never have the multiples because that's the kind of jealous person I, I was like if my husband had not oh no oh no no way would that ever happen but I still just don't see the difference. Like why they're so upset about the woman having multiple husbands, but not upset when the man has multiple wives. I just don't get it. I kind of ended the season out with the marriage and, and now they, what are they gonna go back to hands of poor, hands of poor and, and, and that's gonna be something. So this next season's gonna be even, even more action, more drama. I'm sure more drama 
once they all find out all the brothers married the one woman oh wait i just I, I just keep thinking wait till that mean old prince finds out wait till he finds out he's gonna be loving it but also be rubbing it in their faces all right y'all let me know what you think comments thumbs and all that until next time Mwah!